<laughs> well, I was born and raised on the Niagara Parkway, and uh, in the 20s, the uh, parkway was called the River Road, and it was a mud road until the late 20s. And uh, two of the men who had their horses and, and uh, wagons kept them at our farm, while they were building the, the new road. And uh, it was called the River Road for quite some time before Niagara Parkway. And during the 20s, it was uh, when there was a prohibition in the United States. And of course, there was lots of activity along the river when they were sending the liquor across to the states. And um, on this side, uh, probably if you still look down the river bank, uh, uh, all the way along towards Niagara, you could probably find the tracks uh, of the cars that they, these people had. They were from the falls mostly, and and I remember one of them drove a beautiful big Pierce Arrow car that the headlights go sort of sloped out on the, the front uh, fenders, and uh, they were always getting stuck when they went down the bank. And the, the, the farmers were, were always asking the farmers to get the, the get their um, uh, horses, horses out to pull them up the bank because they were really stuck in the mud down there. But uh, that was all, it was quite a bit of excitement during the uh, 20s. And they'd come down the road and have their car lights on and the, would light up the whole house. And I remember my dad going out and asking to turn their lights off so that we could sleep. It was after midnight, and so anyway, um, but uh, they sent the stuff across. Uh, they sent it over on on the, in little boats, and sometimes they'd walk. Or they'd go right into the arms of the state troopers on the other side. So it was really quite a time over here. And then they stored the the liquor in some of the barns on the farms on this side until they were ready to ship them out. But uh, that was chiefly the big excitement during the 20s.